Another fucking chance, yeah. And a typewriter, sweet. Did you blow the whistle? No, I, I was at that part, but then I got sidetracked because there's an area down here. I never went down the staircase, and I found a typewriter. So. You gonna get lost. You gonna get lost. You gonna get lost. Gonna get lost. Gonna get lost. Gonna get lost. <laughs> I went down the staircase. I know exactly where I am. Mm. Fancy words. This is a well used bed. Yiggity. Oh, you're in there. Okay. I know where you are. You are in the medicine room. This is my favorite save point. Like, I love this area. I, I'm always backtracking here. Always. Fuck, dude, I've only got like three ink ribbons left. I better be careful. VG2000? I do not know. BJG Vagina. Well, I'm gonna have to yellow it. <sighs> uh, BJG, no. Why did he message you? There's probably someone in the tower. It's either someone in the tower or somebody you just played against. Or played with. Like, I know I have a habit of not looking at my teammates' names when I play Destiny Skirmish or anything like that. Because they usually all suck. Exactly. If I know your name, Ooh, that means... What? From the broken shotgun. See, that's the shotgun you needed to put on the hinge of that one... When to grab the real oh, so shotgun. It's pointless now. Yeah, it's pointless now. See, when you play when you play the Chris campaign, um, Barry doesn't help you, so that ceiling comes down and kills you. Barry is only here to help Jill. Barry doesn't help Chris. Mm -hmm. So that shotgun's irrelevant. Oh, whatever. I mean, I still took it and put it in my box just because. I'm a collector. I want to go right or left. If I go straight. Oh, more ribbons. Oh my god, I literally have to go on the other side of the fucking mansion. I hate that. I mean, that's how these games are. I know I've been saying that a lot about this game, but it's tons of backtracking. It's like Zelda. You know, Zelda's got tons of backtracking too. Like, there's puzzles you gotta figure out, and there's backtracking, and there's a boss fight, and then blah, blah. I want them to do Twilight Princess HD. Mm. They do Twilight that's Princess my... HD. That's oh, I'll be so excited. Like that's Ocarina of like... Time and Twilight Princess were like so amazing. I think Ocarina of Time barely edges out uh, Twilight Princess for me just for the nostalgia factor and yeah. uh, just because of just because of how Twilight. big it was. Like. In 1998, no game was, like, that amazing. Except for Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII, like, we were so spoiled growing up, man. We had Final Fantasy VII and fucking Ocarina of Time, Mario 64. Like, when we, to see, like, the leaps and bounds that these people made to develop and make these games. Like, Zelda 64, or Ocarina, Ocarina of Time went through, like, five changes, and it got delayed, like, three or four times. Like... Like it, was, Zelda. <laughs> it was it was known as Zelda 64, and then uh, pretty much six months or eight months before the game came out, they didn't even have a title or a story. Like they just they had to put it together like last minute, and look what they came up with. Like that was so amazing. Too bad Nintendo's writing team. Well, actually, you know they're still really good. What? Ah, oh, you're one of those. 
Like, I, I, I can't say I hate Majora's Mask. I respect Majora's Mask because it was definitely very, very, very creative. And they took a lot of shit that didn't get worked into the res- Resident Evil, to the Ocarina of Time. They took a lot of stuff that they didn't throw into that game and put it into Majora's Mask. But I just I don't have anymore. wasn't a big fan. Um, I kept repeat not I kept repeating the deaths and restarting to the next day because I kept running out of time. So I kept getting sidetracked and okay. I couldn't tell if that was a zombie or that was Paul going oh. So I had to stop for a second. Sorry, I had to check myself before I wrecked myself. Gay, I can't believe I just said that. That was really gay. I apologize, everybody. That was a very gay thing to say. Will you take the battery pack? Yes. I have taken the battery. Oh, look at these mini stairs. Will you take the fade spray? Yeah. Okay, now there's a big double door. So according to the map, they only give me arrows, so I'm assuming I'm leaving the mansion. Nothing in front of me because she didn't auto in. This is Brad. Ooh. If you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad. Can you hear me? Shit. It's broken. At a girl, Jill. Shit. Ah, oh, there's a fucking dog. Way to auto so, aim, like, Jill. I can't shoot oh, the God, dog. Oh, God, there's multiple ones. I died because Jill sucks. Well, there's like three dogs in my path, and two dogs. I have to kill them all. And the dogs are really tough to shoot, especially when they get up in your grill. Yeah. I lo Was there's one. Halloween there's one. In, yeah. There's one in my face right now, and he just now discovered me. They all dead. Are you using your shotgun? Or? I, did, I just did right there, just because I didn't want to die. Because I'm outside the mansion now, and I didn't save. And I don't remember any of this at all. I'm like in an outdoor garden, so I didn't want to take the chance of dying and having to do it all over again. Yeah. But two, you know, two shotgun blasts, not too bad. I don't have any fucking shotgun shells, so... I don't know how I'm going to kill the dog that has the key around his neck. Jill won't shoot at the dog, we're shit. Well, aim lower. Do I have to point down? I feel like she either points way high, mid, or way low. Well, I mean, that's what, made, that's what made the game difficult, you know? You had to position yourself in a spot where you think you can shoot him. Sorry. Again, sorry. Just because I know that encounter, I'm bringing fucking those first aid sprays with me. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm still on the mansion property, obviously. But I found a swimming pool. I guarantee you there's stuff under the water. I guarantee you're gonna like the way you do. Well, I can't go any farther. This calls for fucking survival knife. I like the shit out of those dogs. You'll die. Well, actually, I can't <laughs> remember, but I, I can't remember which Resident Evil game, 
But if you take a knife to the dog, they jump back and they, they like fall on their back and they have to get back up. So it actually worked very effectively. I'm, I don't think it's this game. Oh, I got a stun gun. The stunning the dogs work, or do the guy gets done? Hmm? Do the dogs get stunned, or no? Yes. Stun the pooch. Oh, that's what you use that super stuff for. There's like that potted herbs says there's only enough for a few uses you yeah. like use it again on that so. yeah. yeah okay that's cool This game looks so pretty. It's, this version is fucking 13 years old and it's still gorgeous. There seems to be some kind of signpost thing. Valley of Destruction, Cave of the Hatred, Summit of Madness, and the Path of Revenge. This is a mansion's property. And that's what they named this shit? Jesus. Um, sure. This part's too hard. I can't beat it with just a pistol. Need too many dogs. Yeah. Barry? die out here, I'm going to be so pissed. The last gasps of destruction. Okay, so blue is destruction. Red is revenge. Red revenge, blue destruction. Okay. Red Revenge, Blue Destruction. That's easy to remember. North is Destruction, West is Revenge. Okay. Oh shit, I'm so dumb I forgot already. North is destruction, west is revenge, red revenge. So north, now I gotta go north, okay. North, 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 north. Easy to remember. They just gotta face away from each other. Alright, let's see if I can get away without having to shoot these birds, because 